Hi, I'm Jim Jones. And I'm Jones Jim. We're here with another episode of Wrestle Raw Mania Smackdown Summer Flips. Times. And uh, boy, do we have a classic match for you guys uh, today. Uh, after a devastating uh, death once again at the hands of the Predator, uh, we're going to be witnessing the Falcon versus the Predator once again. I heard you had an interview with the Predator before the show. I did. Listen to this. Uh, excuse me, Predator. How do you uh, how do you feel about uh, your upcoming match against the Falcon after what happened to him just a few weeks ago? Oh, I felt so bad about hurting that little guy the other time. I sent him a fruit basket in the hospital with a picture, and I heard he had a stroke. But I really hope we can be friends. Oh well, isn't that sweet, Jim? <laughs> that is sweet, Jones. Yeah. Well, right. see, see, it's nice to know that here in WrestleMania time splash off that uh, the wrestlers can be friends outside of their combative states, you know? Indeed. I actually asked Predator where he was from, and this is the answer I got. Really? Right, listen in. Okay. Predator, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the south, southern part of Jupiter. Jupiter? Yes. The planet? Yes. Why do you talk like that, Predator? It's just my voice. I'm actually the most masculine man on my planet. Uh, that is an interesting interview there, Jim. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't ask because I probably would have laughed in the Predator's face and been killed. Uh, you so, probably would have, Jones. Yeah, uh, because so kudos for keeping a straight face, sir. An attendant dumped a water bottle on him right after the interview, and he ripped him in half. Oh, accidentally or on purpose? I it's just he comes from he comes from Jupiter, Southern Jupiter. He doesn't know any better. He's still learning American customs. Not to mention the Falcons Mexican slash Japanese, so he doesn't know either. Jupiter or not, Jones. A drink to the face is a drink to the face. Uh, yeah, oh! Uh, he needs to capitalize on this. He uh, needs to capitalize uh, on this. What's he doing? Oh, he's swinging the predator the around. The big spin. I'm surprised he can pick that big man up with his back injury. I'm wondering if they changed the rules to an extreme rules match because there is a ladder oh. in the ring and the referee couldn't care less. I think the referee's that same guy, Jones. The same Do we guy have no care. one else? Oh, I don't think this man goes ladder. home. I don't think the Falcon knows what's happening right now. Uh, Predator's uh, just asking to catch the Falcon. Uh, he really does want to be his friend. Oh! Oh, oh my oh. God, the Falcon flew. Such a The Falcon fly. has flown for the first oh. time in months. It's so nice to see the Falcon fly again. Oh, my. You know, Jim, you see, you hear these stories, these oh, comeback Falcon kids. Has... Oh, and he just struck oh. the Predator with the belt. Oh, this is this is even brutal. I I feel so bad after an interview earlier with the Predator. Uh, the Falcon's just brutalizing him with a belt. He is. I cannot. It seems, uh, seems that the Falcon has a fire today. Yeah, Maybe it is the helmet, Jones. Maybe yeah. that's what's driving it. Uh, it really must be. I don't I don't understand. You know, uh, I I feel like last week or however long ago that was when the Predator broke his neck and spine again. I feel like I was just an accident. You know, he's just doing his job. He doesn't know anything about strength and volume control, where he comes from. That is true. I don't know who hired him, but I mean, I'm sure that they knew that. I don't think the helmet helped him there, Jim. No, uh, it did not. It did not soften that blow at all. No. Uh, Maybe it's because the Falcon took all the pads out, so he'd be more aerody aerodynamic. That's what well, he said. Well, he's going to say that sounds like the Falcon, because he needs to fly. The Falcon does the need to fly. Look at him. Predator has brought him he's a crutch. He's getting ready to fly again. Oh, he flew again. The Predator offers him a crutch, and he jumps in his face. Oh, oh that, was, that was mean. That was a mean uh, leap snap there. And he misses completely like an amateur baseball player. He, and he throws him. Wow. That, what Predator. a feat of strength, Jones. Yeah, you are not kidding. That was a feat of strength. And I also know he has uh, strength in his feet. Oh. Oh no, what's he doing? It's the Falcon! He's setting up for the Falcon Slam. Oh! Oh, could this be it? It's not it. Oh, a two count. He got him with a two count. This is the farthest the Falcon has ever gone with the Predator, Jones. Uh, you aren't kidding, Jim. Oh! Oh, he slammed him on the crutch. He's getting needed after that. 
Uh, Predator's getting angry. Oh, he's giving oh, him he the crunch. across the spine. The newly repaired spine for the second time. Oh, and he very tactfully rolls out of the ring, Jim. Looks like he's going for something. Now, if you're the Falcon, what do you do against the Predator? Clearly, he just tried his, his finishing move and did nothing against the Predator. If I was the Falcon, I would use a hammer. A uh, hammer. This is a, a no-holds-barred match. Yes, it is. An extreme match. So really, the Falcon doesn't have to take all this. And he's in the corner. Oh no, this is a horrible place for any wrestler to be. Oh no, this is going to be awful. Oh, oh, right on that helmet. I feel like it did more uh, bad against the, or against the Falcon than good. And he's taunting him. Our ring attendants down there, down there at the tables are saying that the Falcon is crying. The Falcon is crying? Yes, he's and very upset. Even through that mask and helmet, uh, he still can't hide his tears. No, you cannot. I think the Predator's gearing up to do a signature move here. Uh, I think he's—he seems really hesitant to attack the Falcon. Uh, I really think he wants to be his friend. Uh, so he's just taking this abuse. I mean, do you think the our interview got to him earlier, Jim? It may have. I mean, the Predator seemed genuine. Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh! oh wow! On the concrete on the concrete outside. Luckily, there's luckily for the Falcon, there's no pinfalls outside the ring. Yes, the Fal or the Predator calls that move the natural selection, and boy, had he been in the ring, that Falcon would have been killed. Oh, that helmet didn't help that. No, the blow. Predator uh, wears that special armband for a reason. It really, really helps with the elbow strikes. Oh, and we have no rules here uh, in the ring here at uh, SmackDown WrestleMania Flush times. Oh, no, we're hoping that'll bring our viewers up from four to five or six, maybe. Yeah, possibly seven, if we're lucky. If we're lucky. Yes, indeed. Uh, the ladder is still in the ring. Will it come into play? Uh, the, the Falcon drop kicks the uh, the Predator again. Looks like the Predator is really weak right now. Oh, the trip. Oh, no. Oh, God, he got him by the leg hook. Oh, no. No, not the leg. The back. Not oh. the leg. Oh, he broke the Falcon's leg. Just so much punishment oh, for the Falcon. Gosh. Oh, another bone picked apart by the Predator. The Falcon, after such great performance against the Predator here tonight, still comes up short. No pun intended, as he will probably get his leg removed. Indeed, oh, our ring he's... attendants are saying there was a distinct chicken bone snap. And there was the natural selection on the floor, which I think really did the Falcon in, Jim. And here goes, watch the way this leg bends. Oh, you can oh, hear it. that's a dislocated oh, hip and a That helmet femur. cannot protect your knee, Falcon. No, it can't. And well, another disappointing loss for the Falcon. Honestly, I don't know how he keeps coming back or why, Jim, or why. Let's let's throw the Predator a mic right now. One of, one of our ring attendants is going to throw him a mic. All right, All cut right. the feed, cut the feed. we got to get the Predator down here. Yep, here, here he comes. He's going to be on. Here's the Predator. All right, Predator... Uh, after your match just now, I mean, what's going through your mind? What did you, do you know what you just did? I do. I am so proud of Falcon right now. On my planet, it's a rite of passage to get every bone in your body broken, and he is that much closer. Wow. You really did want to be his friend, didn't you? Yes, I, yes. I am on my way to being his best friend. Really? Is that why you got him a drink earlier? Oh, yes, yes. He looked very, very warm and exhausted, so I wanted to get him a cold beverage. I thought so, Jim. I thought so. Thank you, Predator. Uh, we're going to send some paramedics down there to the Falcon. Oh, what's that? We can't afford paramedics? Uh, well, I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, uh, Jim, any, any last thoughts? Yes, uh, there's a veterinarian's office right next door. That's probably where the Falcon's going to be sent. Uh, well, good enough for him because his name is the Falcon. We'll just write him as a pet. Indeed. Yes, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Russell Mang Splash Punch Times. Uh, I'm Jones Jim. And I'm Jim Jones. Thanks for watching.